We've seen skateboarding, rock climbing, surfing introduced to the Olympics this year, but uh, could this sport be next? Dog triathlon. Well, unlikely, isn't it? But anyway, it's when owners compete in the challenge to run, bike and swim, but with their dogs tagging along. The BBC's Carol Malia has been along to one training club in the north of England to see how it's done. <laughs> Tension mounts at the lineup for the first discipline, and it was never going to be a quiet entry into the water for the 100 metre swim. Weeks and months of training had come to this, the odd illegal assist, but the contenders generally were happy. You tire your dog out, <laughs> uh, keeps us fit and active, it mentally stimulates the dog as well, um, and it does build, build a special bond between you and the dog, which for me I, I find is, is the most important thing. Geordie Cannycross has 200 members training for a 100 metre swim, 2.5k bike and 2.5k run. You straight in the water, you swim and then quickly get to the transition area, quickly getting changed on your bike. You know, the dogs just really love it, they love the speed and then quickly into the run. So it's, it's yeah, it's really fast. <laughs> For the swim, we're obviously wearing the wets out and the dogs wear the life jacket. And then onto the bike, they have to wear the, the harness um, and the specialist, like, canny cross um, dog spot harnesses. Um, and we have the arm on the bike to hold the line out from the wheel. And then um, we wear a belt for the actual running part. Sometimes the pace is too much for those on two legs, like poor Emma in the pink here. Trip hazard, all part of the sport. And a last word from the coach. Dogs enjoying it. They are. But you must go home with a headache. Uh, well, yes. Good barking mad, really. <laughs> Carol Melia, BBC Look North, Ashington. Yeah, good luck to all there.